So Battlefield just dropped some new gameplay on all of their social medias. I want to talk about it as well as the lack of overall communication and gameplay with this game leading up to launch. If you guys like the video, leave a like and subscribe for more content. I'm currently doing a test run of streaming on YouTube instead of Twitch. So if you guys want to catch more of that, I'm live Monday to Friday, 11 a.m. Eastern all on YouTube. So be sure to check out the streams. So we got gameplay from four different specialists. We got Webster McKay, who is the assault class with the grappling hook. We got Boris Gaskowski, who is the engineer with the sentry gun. Maria Falk, who is the support with the Surret pistol. And we have Casper Van Dale, I think that's how you pronounce it, who is the recon class with the drone and movement sensors. The gameplay we're seeing today, starting with the assault class, as that's going to be the specialist that I'll most likely be maining. The graphics look much better than some of the alpha footage that I had seen, so I'm glad to see the improvements there. That being said, it is being reported that this is from a build in June, which is a little strange to me. I don't understand why we're not seeing up-to-date gameplay. There's a lot of speculation around the internet. We're going to talk about that in a little bit. Bit. I'm seeing a lot of people discuss recoil, or I should say the lack thereof, but I will say that every time I do play games like Sandstorm, I get comments all the time about the game having no recoil. It, uh, Big Fry, it looks like it has no recoil, but it's all about control of the said recoil by the player. I can control recoil to the point that it looks like a laser beam, so I can't really criticize that here. The guns do look a little lasery, I get what they're saying, but I won't know for sure until I play this upcoming beta. Time to Kill here is actually looking really, really solid, and the player moving around in a pretty fluid motion with the grappling hook. He goes into, like, the kill animation, goes to third person. Apparently, people are having problems with the fact that it's in third person. I actually think it looks pretty good. It doesn't seem clunky at all to me, which is one thing that I really wanted to see with some extended gameplay. Looking at Boris's gameplay, he drops the turret in this room with two guys and the turret looks like it does absolutely nothing. He puts around seven shots into the first guy and the turret takes to the second and he takes him to about half health. Now, I get it that Boris is rocking an SMG, but it felt really lackluster watching this gameplay. It jumps to the player hip firing at two people on a street with the turret firing at them and it just cuts to the Battlefield logo. Not really an impressive showing for the character gameplay here, and I'm not quite sure why they opted to do hip firing, because the bullets are hitting them, but you can't really see any of the actual mechanics at work. Now we jump to Falk, which is showcasing a mid-fight sequence where she takes out an enemy with ease, with explosions and bullets just firing off everywhere. She shoots the Surrette pistol two times to a teammate, bringing them from around a quarter health to full, and then pops one into her arm. She was sitting at around a quarter health down, brings her up as well. She slides to the down teammate, busts out the defibs. This animation sequence with the defibs from the player writhing to the ground to the defibs themselves was kind of meh to me. It took about three seconds to cook the the defibs up, bring the player back. The death animation on the player, he's just kind of like writhing and it's just kind of looping on the ground and I don't know, just okay, sure. This clip is the first time that I actually noticed the lighting in this game. It's bright. The shadows are still very light here, and I'm hoping that we can change them to add a bit of contrast to the world. I don't know how that's going to affect gameplay, but it still feels really half-baked to me. And this is something that I did see in some of the alpha gameplay that was leaked on sites like Reddit. Between the first and the second clip, the player must have picked up an AK variant with an OKP because she starts firing at an enemy, takes them out. This actually looked really, really good to me. The hit markers are looking a little big here, but again, I'm hoping to change that on the launch version in the settings. And then finally, we have Casper, which was actually the most enjoyable out of the four clips to watch for me. He jumps on the drone and we see this panned out shot of this battlefield around him. Tanks flying down the street, Osprey's kind of going, chaos, bullets, firefights happening. It cuts to him looking down at a tank, and this is the shot right here. At night, this game looks gorgeous. Tank's kind of driving by. He scopes into somebody who's sitting on a bridge, gets the shot, and then to showcase the movement sensor, he switches to his secondary, flips around, and shoots somebody who is apparently coming up behind him. But I was looking at the radar to where the movement sensor is actually rotating, and I, I didn't see any blips of enemies. We heard this little noise. I don't know if it's a, an audio cue or a visual cue, but for me, watching this clip like 20 different times, I, I can't see what actually triggers him to look around or if it's just some scripted gameplay sequence. 
regardless, I did enjoy watching Casper's gameplay the most because I feel like, and it might be bad to say, I feel like playing on like night maps or like low light maps on this game is really where it's at. It just brings that gritty feel that I'm kind of expecting at a Battlefield 2042. But one thing that's really starting to concern me here is the fact that we are just over a month away from launch and we still don't have any idea of, of a beta date. There are leaks that it is going to be happening on the 22nd of September, but there's nothing official coming out of the team. And in terms of real gameplay, we've only seen little snippets outside of the very first gameplay trailer that they showed off just shortly after they announced the game. We aren't seeing anybody touch this game. Even Jack Frags is talking about 15 second clips and scraps that Battlefield are giving him. And I'm wondering why we're not seeing any more hype around this game kind of leading up to launch. Obviously hype is maximum, but you'd think that Ripple Effect and EA would want to double down and showcase, hey guys, this is the battlefield that everybody wants. Here's some fucking gameplay. Here's the developers playing in matches. Here's social media, you know, juggernauts playing the game. We're, we're getting nothing. And when we are getting something, we're getting 15 second snippets that just cut really quick. So we can't see like full death animations or how many shots. It, it's, it's very strange. On top of the fact that we still don't know what hazard zone is going to be. And I'm wondering if this upcoming first base whenever it comes out I'm wondering if that's going to be a hazard zone only beta with like the open beta then opening it up to all-out warfare a little bit later I'm not quite sure what their plan is but I find it weird that we still don't know I mean the game has three modes right you have the all-out warfare you have portal and then we have this hazard zone that we haven't heard a goddamn thing about a month before launch they're asking for pre-orders we're not seeing full gameplay they're showing us little snippets and little tidbits here and I know the hype is is off the charts but what what is going on i'm obviously really really excited for battlefield i'm playing these other shooters and i'm just I'm, I'm just waiting i'm waiting to touch battlefield so i can finally just see what the game feels like and how the changes with specialists and how they're handling this all-out warfare mode are going to make the game either better or not i'm i'm anxious but my hype is actually kind of starting to die down a little bit i'm excited to play the game i'm still hyped as fuck but i am noticing that like with with each passing day no beta date no info on hazard zone all these leaks i'm so fucking sick of leaks and rumors just communicate just talk to us. It's one of those things like if the game does stand on its own and it is one of the best shooters of all time, then fucking show it. Instead, I'm watching a Jack Frags video about 2042 and half the video is about this new Battlefield mobile game that's coming out that I don't think a lot of people really give a shit about. But again, maybe it's just my impatience being hyped and excited for a brand new, you know, near modern kind of near future shooter being made by AAA developers. I don't know, dude. I'm going fucking crazy reading all these stupid rumors being posted all over the place. I just want to know a beta date and I just want to see the Battlefield YouTube channel upload like a 30 minute gameplay with all of the developers it should be that easy but apparently it's not like the video and subscribe for more fps content i'm going to be talking a whole bunch of battlefield as soon as we can get more information we just hit 237,000 subscribers i'm shooting for 300 this year and i think we're gonna get it my name is big fry you guys have an awesome weekend and i'll see you on the next one